Welcome to the complete Linux Mint installation guide. In this video, we'll go step by step from downloading to full setup. Perfect for beginners switching from Windows or trying Linux for the first time. Download the ISO directly or torrent from the official website. Make sure to choose the right edition for your system, Cinnamon, Mate, or XFCE. In Linux, you can create a bootable USB using tools like Etcher or USB Image Writer. We'll show you exactly how to select the ISO and write it to your pen drive. This USB will be used to install Linux Mint on your system. Restart your PC and open the BIOS UEFI settings to change boot order. Select your USB drive as the first boot device. This will load the Linux Mint live session without affecting your current OS. Click the Install Linux Mint icon on the desktop. This launches the installer that guides you through the setup process. Make sure your system is plugged in and stable before continuing. Connect to a wireless or wired network during the installation. Having internet access helps with downloading updates and drivers. Choose your Wi-Fi and enter the password to stay connected. Tick the box to install third-party codecs for music and videos. Decide how Linux Mint should be installed on your system. Choose to erase the entire disk or manually create partitions. Make sure to back up your data before choosing the Erase Disk option. If your system is booting in UEFI mode instead of legacy BIOS, the Linux installer must create or use an existing EFI system partition ESP, to store the bootloader, GRUB in this case. Without this partition, the system won't be able to boot after installation. When doing manual partitioning, create a small FAT32 partition, 100 to 500 megabytes. Set the mount point to boot.efi. Mark it with the ESP and boot flags. Some installers do this automatically when you set the mount point. Then create your main root partition, slash, with ext4 or btrfs. Create your username, password, and system hostname. This will be your main account for logging in and performing tasks. You can also choose whether to require a password at login. Once installation is complete, restart your computer. Remove the USB drive when prompted. You'll now boot into your freshly installed Linux Mint desktop. Do these two things upon installation of a fresh operating system, update and backup. Open the terminal and run sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade. This checks for available updates and installs them via command line. It's fast, powerful, and ensures your system is up to date. Prefer a graphical interface? Use the Update Manager. It checks for software and security updates with a click. Perfect for beginners who aren't comfortable with the terminal. Set up Time Shift to take a snapshot of your system. This acts like a restore point in case anything breaks in the future. It's highly recommended to set this up immediately after installation. Congratulations! 
you've successfully installed Linux Mint and completed the initial setup. Your system is now updated, secure, and ready to use with TimeShift protecting your setup. If this video helped you, please like, comment, and subscribe for more Linux tutorials. Got questions? Drop them below. I'm here to help.